Cardinal Philippe Barberin, one of the most prominent Catholic figures in France, is accused of covering up church child abuse. He's been charged with failing to report a priest to abused Boy Scouts in the 1980s and 90s. Let the light be shed, let reprehensible acts be judged, debated and acknowledged. This could make a significant advance in child protection, not only in the church, but in general, because it is a social problem that does not only affect the Catholic Church. The Cardinal faces up to three years in prison and a fine of $54,000 if convicted. I think there's a difference between errors and criminal misconduct. Mistakes made, of course, by him or by others, do not mean that, on an individual level, he is criminally responsible, and even less that he's guilty. This is what we hope to see emerge from today's debate. As the Cardinal fought allegations in France, Pope Francis was addressing the issue of church sex abuse in his annual speech to ambassadors to the Vatican. Here I can't refrain from speaking of one of the plagues of our time, which sadly has involved some members of the clergy. The abuse of minors is one of the vilest and most heinous crimes conceivable. Such abuse inexorably sweeps away the best of what human life holds out for innocent children and causes irreparable and lifelong damage. The trial follows a year of shame for the Catholic Church. In June, Cardinal Theodore McCarrick, the former Archbishop of Washington, was removed from office. A church investigation found allegations he abused a minor in the 1970s were credible. In August, a U.S. grand jury in Pennsylvania released a report accusing more than 300 priests of sexually abusing more than 1,000 children over the past 70 years. And in September, a report by Germany's Catholic bishops said there were at least 3,677 cases of child sex abuse by the clergy between 1946 and 2014. As the scandals unfolded, Pope Francis faced growing criticism for responding too slowly to the crisis. He hasn't moved quickly enough on it, but I think that he's moving with an institution that is 2,000 years old. And I think he's, he's pushing the institution more quickly than it would naturally go. I think there are still people in the church who would quite like to sweep the abuse scandal under the carpet, and we just can't do that. It has to be dealt with. The Pope is now promising decisive action. He's summoned bishops from around the world for a crisis meeting in February on clergy sex abuse. It's an unprecedented step in the history of the church, but a step many say has come far too late. Sarah Morris, TRT World.